How much suffering can one person handle? And what one event can cause somebody a lifetime of depression and despair? Losing your house? Losing your job? Not getting into the college you want to get into? How about watching your nine-year-old brother killed, murdered by a drunk driver while he was crossing the street on his bicycle and having to handle that while only being seven years old? This happened to Adrian Peterson. PsychCentral.com says, a loss of a family member often results in depression and grief. And Christine Spadola reports, almost 29% of these people fall into tobacco, marijuana, and alcohol addiction. This didn't happen to Adrian Peterson. Yes, Adrian Peterson. Many of you know him as one of the greatest running backs ever. But did you know that he watched his nine-year-old brother die as a seven-year-old? This is why he's such an inspiration to us. He did not fall under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Instead, he worked hard at football as an outlet from this terrible, tragic event. After all his hard work, he attended Palestine High School in Texas. There, he only played football his junior and senior year. You wouldn't know it though, because he accumulated 5,000 rushing yards and over 50 touchdowns in two years. He had players from the other team coming up to him after games asking for autographs. After he graduated, he attended the University of Oklahoma, a very prestigious football school. He was a huge hit right away. He was named to the first team AP All-Freshman team. He was awarded many trophies, like the Hall Trophy and the Jim Brown Trophy. He was also a finalist in the Heisman Award. In 2009, he was, <coughs> excuse me, he was named to the All-Decade team. After college, Roger Goodell reports, with the seventh pick of the 2007 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Adrian Peterson. There it is. He was selected 7th overall in the 2007 NFL Draft to the Minnesota Vikings. He was a huge hit right away, again, just like he was in college. He's a five-time Pro Bowler, and he was the fifth person to ever rush for 3,000 yards in his first two seasons. But he didn't stop there. Adrian Peterson is the fifth fastest player to ever get to 5,000 yards, doing so in only 51 games. 51. In his 2011 season, he was rated third overall after Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. This was the preseason rankings. Adrian Peterson lived up to those rankings, having an outstanding year. But unfortunately, in week 12, December 24, 2011, in a game against the Washington Redskins, he tore his ACL and his MCL. Medicine.net reports, an injury like that usually takes 9 to 10 months to recover. Believe it or not, Adrian Peterson, on opening day the next year, September 9th, against the Jacksonville Jaguars, rushed for 84 yards and two touchdowns. This is nine months after he tore his ACL. Now when I say the average recovery time is 9 to 10 months, I mean to start walking or jogging again. This man is playing in an NFL game. That is an outstanding first game, but trust me, he did not stop there. Towards the end of the season, he was approaching the all-time record for most yards in a season. That record is 2,105. This is held by Eric Dickerson. Adrian Peterson going to the last game needed 208 yards. He was going up against the Green Bay Packers. He got off to a hot start, but unfortunately came up short with only 199 yards. This was still an outstanding performance, and he still is one of only four players to ever rush over 2,000 yards in a season. He ended up with 2,097 yards. That is an outstanding year for somebody who everyone thought was going to do nothing because of this injury. He was only supposed to play half the season, but through his perseverance, he ended up playing the whole year. Adrian Peterson is now a candidate for the 2012-2013 MVP and Comeback Player of the Year. Did he use the same mentality to recover from this injury 
as he did when, uh, to recover from the death of his brother? We may never know. What we do know is that he's an inspiration to all of us. And that giving up is never an option. And so I'm proud to say I wear the colors of the Minnesota Vikings with my yellow pants and my purple shirt. And not to mention my beautiful Adrian Peterson jersey representing his hard work, his dedication, and his perseverance.